Caloundra Uniting Church is located at 56C Queen Street, Caloundra. The Sir Francis Nicklin Memorial Church is a two-storey building. The top floor of the building contains the church office, main auditorium and the Robert Weir training room. The lower level serves as the main hall. There are multiple exits from each level and assembly points at the front and rear of the building. This safety presentation is based on the requirements of the Queensland Building Fire Safety Regulation 2008. In this presentation we will look at the escape routes, exits and assembly areas, the location of the firefighting equipment, the use of the firefighting equipment and finally the evacuation procedure itself. As part of this procedure we will also look at the specific duties of event leaders and assistants. A full version of the Caloundra Uniting Church's fire and evacuation plan is available from the office for perusal upon request. Now let's look at the escape routes and exits. It is important that you are familiar with all exit routes. In the event that your main escape route is blocked, you will need to use the alternative evacuation routes. If you are in the hall, there are three exit doors. The first is located beside the kitchen. The second leads out to Orm Street and the third door is located near the amenities. If evacuating via the kitchen exit, walk across the driveway to the assembly point. If leaving via the Ulm Street exit, walk out the door Turn right and walk down towards the driveway. Turn onto the driveway and move towards the assembly point. If using the fire door near the amenities, turn left and follow the path back underneath the steps. Proceed through the gate and turn left again onto the driveway. Follow the driveway to the assembly point. Unless instructed by evacuation coordinators to use an alternative exit, move to the closest door and proceed to the assembly point. In the event that your main escape route is blocked, move quickly to one of the alternative exits and proceed to the assembly point. Once occupants have been moved safely to an assembly point and the roll call completed, Occupants are to wait for further instructions. Under no circumstance is anyone to re-enter a building until the all clear has been given. If the emergency is in the hall, then occupants may need to move further away from the building. Proceed down the stairs and wait on the grass area below the church. Now let's look at the locations of the various pieces of firefighting equipment. In the main part of the hall there is a fire hose reel located in a cabinet near the entry to the amenities. A fire extinguisher is located on the right hand door jamb of the kitchen and a fire blanket is located near the cooktop. If required a first aid kit is located in the vicinity of the Ulm Street exit. Firstly, it is important that you only use the firefighting equipment if it is safe to do so and you are confident in using it. Fire hose reels are easy to use and provide a virtually unlimited supply of water. 
the hose should extend to reach most areas of the building. A hose reel is suitable for use on a paper, textile, wood and most plastic or rubber fires. Do not use the hose reel to fight an electrical fire. Water conducts electricity, so using a fire hose reel on an electrical fire could lead to electrocution. All fire extinguishers utilised throughout the building are white banded dry chemical fire extinguishers. This extinguisher can be used on all types of fires. Once you have finished watching this video, please return to our website to watch videos highlighting how to use the fire equipment located in the Caloundra Uniting Church. If you are the first person to locate a fire, alert the group leader and, only if it is safe to do so, attempt to extinguish the fire. Remember to make sure you have a clear exit before doing so. Meanwhile, other members of the group should prepare to evacuate. On hearing an evacuation instruction, immediately cease all activity and only if it is safe to do so, switch off any appliances, equipment and machinery. You can then assist any person experiencing difficulty with the evacuation. Take a quick look to your left and right to see who is standing or sitting nearby. Walk quickly and calmly to the assembly area via the nearest exit. At the assembly area, Form into groups to assist the leader to ensure everyone has been safely evacuated. Report to the leader if you cannot locate the person that was to your left or right before you evacuated. Do not re-enter the building. Remain at the assembly area until otherwise instructed. If for any reason you need to leave before the all clear is given, please let the leader know that you are leaving. If you are the evacuation coordinator or person leading an activity or program, there are additional duties to be performed as part of the evacuation process. You need to investigate the fire situation. If there is any doubt regarding whether there is a fire situation, call the fire service. You need to ensure the safe evacuation of all occupants from the building. Account for all occupants at the assembly area. Ensure occupants do not attempt to re-enter the building until it is safe to do so. Meet the fire service and advise them of any information relevant to the emergency. As there are a number of tasks needing to be completed, it may be necessary to share these duties between attendees to ensure a safe evacuation. It is recommended that the evacuation coordinator or person leading an activity allocate tasks at the beginning of each event. That concludes the Caloundra Uniting Church's fire and evacuation instructions presentation. If you have any questions about any of the information given in this presentation, please contact the church office.